so precious is still alive <laughs> i'm so afraid that she's gonna die <laughs> She's drawing up her nectar. This is her poop. Poor little thing. She's picking up your beard. Look, she loves your red beard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves you. She always wants to be with you, so she picked you as her, as her partner right now, as your her human partner. She loves oh. you. Hi, come here, come here, Glory. Hi, hi. And I see little girly. Hello. <laughs> mm. I love that she always bobs. She's like always dancing. Hello. Girls are so cute. That girl's cute. Oh my gosh, what she's doing with your beard? She's really grooming you. Is that really grooming? I think she likes the spikes that comes out of your skin. <laughs> Like a porcupine. <laughs> porcupine. <laughs> and look at all these little spikes that comes out of your skin. She loves that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> ah, not my eyes. <laughs> Spikies. <laughs> That's funny. Hey guys, so I'm heading right now with Precious Star and Sunshine to the vet because Precious is sick. Um, she starts throwing up um, over the weekend, so I need to get her to the vet ASAP. Um, she was today at the bottom of the cage, which is never a good sign if a bird is on the bottom of the cage. I'm also training um, Star and um, Sunshine to learn how to do harness. That's why I'm taking them with me to the vet, just because I want them to get used to the harness and just take them out. We are walking up to the hospital. I think here it is. I think this is it. So this is a new, please use door to the left. Is this the hospital? Uh, yeah. This door is, to the uh, left? Do you want me to open the door for Yes, you? that will be amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. 
We have an appointment. Oops, sorry. Oh my gosh, look at this pen. I like it. I like you guys already. Oh my god, I love your conures. They're golden conures. Yes, they are so pretty. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, they are on a harness just because I'm harness training them right now because the breeder clipped them really bad so they can fly but they can jump off and plump down yeah I'm pretty certain but yeah no I love birds too I have two um sun conures oh you have sun conures pretty, pretty loud but I love them I yeah. love birds I have budgies I have cocktails oh. Big bird person. They're a big bird person. Yeah. Awesome. I was excited when I heard the lower key. Unfortunately, like the situation's not the best, but yeah. I wanted to see it. It's cool. It's a she. Oh, okay. um, she is just barely a year old. Okay. So she's still a baby. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Let me go get a room going for you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. So Are you guys okay with filming? Uh, yeah. That's okay. Totally fine. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Oh, the good thing is, Precious is eating. I'm very skeptical about vets because of pre-existent experience but they seem really sweet hopefully she's competent hi guys how are you guys doing in your harness how are you guys doing in your harness hmm? hi precious you're right. I have to tell her. They are so cute. They're so precious. Thank you. They are, are precious. They, are they related? They are siblings. Oh, okay. Um, but this this little girl is sick right now. Oh. She's a lorikey. Oh, Rainbow lorikey. Yeah. I did another hard one. Ah, so that's amazing. Um, <laughs> so we did the CIV, the cannon influenza on the left shoulder, the linkage is a little sore. Look out for any bacteria. Like coughing, wheezing. He's like, what? Well, <laughs> like, okay. Definitely curious. <laughs> little doggy. Bye, little, Hi. Yeah, so Bye, little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I need a break. Yeah. I love you, but like, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'll have you go straight into this room right This room? Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> got so nervous the way how the dog was looking at the con ears i just yes once you're once you're finished yeah. you can just give me a quick nod they are Hold so it. cute <laughs> i just wanted to get away of the dog because the dog was like a predator like watching i'm really curious like i don't see every dog is a predator but i just want to be really careful because they weren't cheap okay i'm filling out the new client form Or you're no, just a nurse? Assistant, yeah. Assistant, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so it says wellness exam, fluffing of feathers, shoving head into feathers, kind of like yeah. doing that movement and then throwing up also. Yeah. For the last, um, she didn't throw up on Sunday, but Saturday on Friday. I called in Friday. You guys were not available till Monday. Okay, yeah. So we close on the weekend. She seems like she's doing okay, but she's still, she's puffing up and she's sitting on the cage, at the bottom of the cage. But so you said she vomited on Friday. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, started sorry. Friday morning. Friday morning. Saturday. And then that's when Saturday evening I gave her AV vet. And she was better all Sunday yesterday. And then this morning she was on the cage bottom. Okay, but no more vomiting after you gave her the AV vet? Yeah, no okay. more vomiting. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so Friday morning, Saturday evening. She vomited as well too? Or did Saturday, did she have any vomit? Yeah, Saturday she did vomit. Okay, and then you gave her the air and, and then stopped. stopped. Okay, and then the, for the feathers of, and the, the, the head shaking, same same time it started, like Friday? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but been going on for three days. First time this ever happens with the vomiting? And yeah. Then, yeah? Okay. Any other like coughing, sneezing, diarrhea? No. Okay. She's just pooping liquid, basically just water, like no no okay. solid poop. Okay. So activity levels, you more lethargic? 
Oh no, actually she's she wants to fly around. Yeah. But I don't let her. I, I leave her in the cage. But so she's more like tired though, you say? She's tired but she's calling. Okay. Um is she eating and drinking normal? Appetite yes. is there? Okay. Yes, appetite is there. The first two days it wasn't, but then once I gave the her the meds, she was really hungry. She ate all the food. What other medications or supplements does she get? Just the Ibivir for now? Yeah, I just okay. give the Ibivir. Ibivir. And it's daily that you've been giving it to her? Since Saturday? Yeah, crop feeding it right into crop. How many uh, drops or like, uh, how much do you give her a day? Twice a day or? Just once a day. Once a day? Okay. And it's like um, z one, zero point one milliliter like. Like 0 0.01 or 0 0.1? Like barely, huh? A yeah, little bit? barely. Okay. 0 0.1. 1. See, okay. now she's putting her beak on her feathers. Oh, okay. That's what she's doing, huh? Kind of like hiding? Okay. Just sleeping. It's and what kind of diet is she on at the moment? Oh, she's on the Lariki diet. Blessings. It's what called, is it bless called Blessings. Blessings? Mm -hmm. All right. So Friday morning, again, threw up. Saturday threw up. And then Saturday, Saturday evening, you gave it the... You gave her the uh, Eddie vet, stop throwing up, but then she's still kind of doing the hiding and playing with the feathers and just kind of want to get her checked up. Yeah. All right, perfect. And maybe get some med, like antibiotics for her. Yeah, absolutely. The doctor will come into the full exam. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, miss. Uh, she'll be in shortly, okay? Okay, cool. Thanks. So, so far here, Sunshine and Star is doing really well with the harnesses. Yeah. My two beautiful golden colliers. And then here. Is a little precious. Hi, precious. Hi. So we're just waiting right now for the. Waiting. Precious. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. Too. So this is precious. Okay. So they are just in the harness, <laughs> but she has been throwing up for okay. since uh, it started Friday morning. Okay. And then um. I gave her tea Friday what and then tea? just mint tea. Okay. Just mint tea. Okay. And then um, Saturday she was better. Okay. And then we fed her and then she started throwing up again. Okay. And then I gave her a AV vet and okay. then it was calmed down. Okay. And she's also eating but she she was on the bottom of her cage today. Oh she was. Okay. Um she looks a little tired. She's sleeping um, a lot. She's sleeping a lot? Okay. No, just blessing. Okay. And then sometimes she eats with us out of our plate, but I give her apples and fresh fruits in the okay. morning. Any veggies or anything? She doesn't eat veggies. No celery or lettuce or anything like that? No, she no, just doesn't, doesn't like it? <laughs> doesn't eat okay. veggies. Um, what about, do you give her anything for pollen? Like yeah, they have, the, um, they have wet, um, blessing wet okay. and dry. And dry, okay. Do you do both of them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mornings they get the, the dry and then evenings they get the wet. Okay. Um, and her poops, do they look pretty normal for her? Because yeah. they usually have more watery stools. Right. Um, are, her, are hers looking too watery or just regular? Very watery. There's nothing in it. It looks just water. Okay. It comes right through it. Okay. I don't know if you can see, she has pooped already right there. I see some over here. Right here? Yeah. Right okay. There. Usually it's more greenish, but it's liquid, but yeah. Um, does she live by herself or do they all live together in the same enclosure? Um, they live all with me in my house, but okay. she has her own cage. She does? Okay. Okay. And she's not on any medications right now? Well, I put her on AV vet. I gave her once in a day okay. since Saturday night and okay. she's doing better. With that? She was even sicker. Oh, she was worse before? Yeah. Okay. She, she came around nicely actually so okay. since that because you guys were close. Yeah. Do you give her anything? Is she drinking water on her yeah. own? She drank water on her own. Um, she ate today like a quarter of an apple on her own. Okay. So it sounds like she's getting a little bit better, but the bottom of the cage is not exactly normal. And she wants to fly too, but I just want to come in here and get maybe more better by like, um, probiotics maybe. Probiotics. Okay. Yeah, we could try that. Um, does she do good being handled or is she... Yeah, she's nervous? really sweet. Okay. Um, she's flighted though. <laughs> okay, most birds, most birds are not. Well, they know, they, the breeder clip them way too short. Oh, okay. And I wanted to ask you once we're done with Precious. Come on, Precious. I want to ask you like... <sighs> yes, Precious. Hi, honey. She's a really sweet bird. Very cute. Hi. She just doesn't like 
to get <laughs> yeah. okay her nails are uh, they're not too long which is good her feathers look nice and healthy her eyes look nice and clear you have to do it fast her if you want to catch her her uh, nose looks nice and clear too let me just grab her really quick come here I know you gotta let go you gotta let go you gotta let go no coughing or sneezing with her? No. You're being so sweet. She's a really sweet bird. She barely screams. Really? She's being very good. I think she has a bacteria infection because um, I think um, on Thursday she drinks some chai tea with milk. Mm. And that was sad. The milk was sour? I think so. Something. So she, and I didn't notice it at first, in the morning she flew over mm -hmm. to that cup that stood there overnight. Okay. So I think she drinks some sour milk. The other thing too is with the fruits and stuff, because they require such sugary food, um, we have, you have to be careful like to not let anything get bad right. when it comes to, especially more for lorikeets, yeah. because of how sugary they're, they're they require how I do every day fresh. Okay. And then next morning I take it out. And, and you don't use like fresh. old mixed um, no. food, right? Okay. I just got a brand new fresh. Okay. Um, so, you know, outwardly she looks pretty good. Um, I would say if it is a bacterial infection, if she did get into something that maybe upset her stomach and threw off the bacteria in her already normal GI tract, the best way to kind of detect or check for it is something called a fecal culture, which basically we would collect the poop and basically grow that on a petri dish, check for salmonella, check for campylobacter, kind of check for all the basic, you know, infections, possible infections that could happen. Now, on top of that, you could potentially just add a probiotic onto her food um, if you wanted to just try probiotics first before giving her an antibiotic. Um, but then the test, the culture test would let us know which antibiotic would be the best one if she tests positive for any of those bacteria. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes we do something called a gram stain for um, birds. Do you want to put her back? Oh, yeah, so sure. that she doesn't get too Yeah, we stressed. can do that. Let's get you back in. She's okay. being very good, though. Yeah, she is. There you go. She's been a really good girl. She's so good. Thank you. Get your tail in there. I know. <laughs> okay. There you go. Um, so there, another test is something called the gram scale. I'm just going to do math really quick. Let's see. So 92 is how much she weighs. Is that normal for her? I don't know her weight. Okay. I, I don't know. I it's not too bad. It's a little on the thin side, but not too thin. Yeah. Um, so like I said, the gram stain is where we, they basically, we send the poop out the same way, except they check for general bacteria, like there's two different types, either cocci or rods or gram negative or gram positive, for instance. And birds, they normally have less gram negative bacteria in their poops. Mm -hmm. So if the poop sample comes I back. Turn this around for her. Oh yeah. So she doesn't poop in her. <laughs> if um, the poop comes back uh, too many here. Oh, she's wanting to eat. If the poop comes back with too much gram negative, for instance, then we would give her an antibiotic that works against gram negatives, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so it really just depends on if you wanted to start with a more general test, yeah. and then if that one comes back however it comes back. Let's say it comes back normal, for instance. Yeah. Then I would consider doing the uh, culture as another option, too. Um, how much are those tests? We can give you an estimate. They are a little bit on the pricier side. Yeah. Um, the gram stain is a little bit cheaper. I think it's like in the 100s. The culture is in the 200s, though. Mm. That one's more extensive, which is why it's more expensive. Yeah. Um, and it takes a few more days to get the results back for the culture. And you can just um, subscribe me some uh, probiotics out of, like... Probiotics, we can definitely... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But then we know exactly what virus she has. If, if it, like, for the... Sometimes you can just do a general... A antibiotic without testing, mm -hmm. but it's just always risky because you never know if they're going to respond well to it or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had other clients ask for just the antibiotics and the probiotics and see how their pet does, and it's, you know, it happens. It's not un it's not impossible. 
It just really, I wouldn't be able to tell you for sure she has this or she has that. Right. Um, the gram staining does let us know if there's an overload of certain bacteria, though. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the reason why we test for that. But if you wanted to just try the probiotics, you could, even if she, she's getting better, so you could try just probiotics first. Yeah. See how she responds. If she's not responding, yeah. we could always do the gram uh, test later, the fecal test. Or if you wanted to do at least one of the tests and see how she, oh, what the results are, that's fine too. Um, so the gram test is the one with the poop, right? Yeah, they're both poop tests. It's just okay. one is specific for, so the fecal culture is for like salmonella, Campylobacter, those very serious uh, bacteria. Mm -hmm. The gram stain, which is for the poop too, that one just does general, like if it's um, gram negative or gram positives. Okay. And like I said, if there's too much gram negatives in her poop, that's not normal for, for a birth. <laughs> so what would you recommend, like what would you suggest? I would start maybe with the, um, with a general one, the gram mm -hmm. stain, and we could see what the results are for that. Okay, and that's like the hundred dollars. Yeah, right? and I usually get the results for that within twenty four to forty eight hours. Do you okay. live nearby or far away? Yeah, Pasadena. Oh, okay. Then um, if I get the like if I get the results tomorrow, I can call you and let you know which antibiotic if she needs an antibiotic. But I'd still send you home with the probiotics today. If okay. You want to. Okay. Yeah. And what about the AV vet? Should I still give it to her, or once I get the probiotic? Maybe once you get the probiotics, cut down on it and see how she responds because um, you don't need to do both at the same time right yeah okay i don't want to do any antibiotics until we know for sure as long as there hasn't been any vomiting it should be okay and then i just don't want her to pass away yeah i know with birds it's, it's hard and it goes so fast and it goes so fast um keep her warm right now if you need I know, to serve, pretty, I know cold it's pretty cold in here, in here. Um, if you need to syringe her, you can too. Do you have syringes at home? Yeah. Okay, you can syringe her. You can even do Pedialyte, like non-flavored Pedialyte. Do you have that? Here? I don't have it here. We just get it at Walgreens or oh, okay. any place. Um, you can give that because it helps with electrolytes. Oh, okay. But non-flavored. Non-flavored. And then um, once I get the results, I'll call you tomorrow or the next. Hopefully no later than today's. No later than Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. And then I can come pick up the exactly. antibiotics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If we need it, if it comes back, for instance, that it's normal, then you know maybe we have to test for something else. And then there's another issue. Yeah, because you know, usually vomiting can mean a bunch of different things. The more common thing is a bacterial issue, or like a crop. You can some people try to do a little bit of uh, like apple cider vinegar mixed into the water. If it's like a sour crop situation. But she's a lorikeet. Yeah, so you don't want to do that and you don't want to do that with a lorikeet. Yeah. So it's a little harder because it doesn't... I don't see any white in her mouth though. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Right. The other thing would be taking a swab of inside of her mouth. Oh, that's the other testing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the options is right now we... Um, are we doing the test? Oh, yeah, you have to give me the... I'll give you the estimate for the, the estimate for testing. testing. Mm -hmm. And then... Just Hopefully we have enough food. Yeah, I don't want her to poop in her food. And yeah, she eats the food. I just don't know if there's enough stool in here. There's there's little, some. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, you that will probably be use that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Let me give you an estimate. And I'll be yeah. right back. Can I go in the warmer room or sit outside? <laughs> uh, let me turn off the air. You can sit outside if you want. Um, okay. Let me get outside. Yeah, because I think we turned off the air, but I'll double check. Thank you. Of course. Sorry about that. No, no worries. I just want to keep them all warm. Yeah. Because they're <laughs> exotics. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then this is the... This thing here. So today for the exam, exotics is 95. Uh, the mm -hmm. immune support I just did, the probiotics she was talking about, mm -hmm. is 2205. And then the gram stain, she wants to take a little uh, swab. swab of the, the fecal, mm -hmm. uh, send it out to the lab. It's 134. You usually will get uh, results back within 24 to 48 hours. So total would be how much? Uh, 250, 168. 251 with, that, with the gram stain. Correct, yeah. Okay, so what did you just decide her? Um, yeah, we're gonna do everything. Okay, it's so we'll send that out to the lab, and I believe they're gonna detect for certain bacteria, and they'll either let us know if there is a bacteria or what kind of bacteria there is, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. The doctor will let you know basically what kind of antibiotics to really give. 
she'll know a better idea of what to target, basically. Right, but that's, so, the antibiotic is not included, no, right? That's not. extra. I don't think they're that expensive, though. Honestly, okay. for the birds, since it's so little, yeah. um, it won't be that much. Okay, um, and then did she give you an estimate for imping? For, sorry? Imping, uh, to put feathers on a bird. Uh, no, she didn't mention anything about that. Can you uh, ask her before yeah. we leave? Yeah, and you said it was for the... For this bird stock. For the, okay, for the, for the feathers. For the feathers. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, okay no thank problem. you. Okay guys, I am heading now back to my car. She seems so nice. She's gonna email me the estimate regarding imping. I really wanna imp um, little star. Um, Precious was doing good. I got antibiotics. They took a sample from the hair feces. So in two days, I'm gonna get the results. Um, and I am so happy to find a vet who's competent and who loves birds, who owns also birds and that's really cool. She seems really knowledgeable and really nice. Okay, guys, uh, you know I have always problems with vets and I have trust issues with vets, but she seems really nice. And these guys are doing really good in the harness and he's precious. So let's pull everybody through and see what's going on. Okay. I am so worried because Precious has been sick and she's not doing well. I found her today in the bottom of her cage and I put now a heating mat on there so that she can be keeping warm. It's been two days since we were in the vet and today we finally got the results. Turns out that um, Precious has a yeast infection due to the high sugar intake. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed her now some baby formula. I'm going to do some crop feeding and five minutes later, I'm going to have to give her meds specifically for yeast. Um, I have this six bird treatment kit and there's doxycycline in here and that is especially for yeast infection. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to towel her now. She's, she's fighting definitely something off. I'm gonna give her some food. Okay, so I just fed her some baby formula. Now I'm gonna wait five minutes and now I'm gonna do the medication for her. So she has some medication too against yeast okay she's been like this for like three days right now so i'm gonna leave her here let her sleep this is a heating pad it's warm and just cover her cage okay i'm also gonna leave her water just in case water and food just in case she wants to eat or drink and just leave her alone. Oh my God, she's doing really bad. Okay guys, so Precious is doing really, really bad right now. She's on the bottom of the cage. She's not even sitting upright, she's just She's just fighting for her life. I'm so sad. I don't want to lose her. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't want to lose her. Oh. Let me call the bed.
think my bird is dying. I think Precious is dying right now. I'm so sad. I just feel so empty. I feel so empty and sad. So sad. <laughs> so, Precious is still alive. I'm so afraid that she's gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just want her to make it. I just want her to make it. <sighs> oh, please, Lord, let her make it. Please. <laughs> I don't want my bird to die. <sighs> oh, please, let her make it. <sighs> I just look in the cage. I'm just so sad. I don't know if I ever look in the cage. But she's sitting. She's, she has, she's fighting. She's definitely fighting it. Ah, so emotional roller coaster right now. I just want my bird to make it. I don't want to lose Precious. I really don't want to lose her. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How are you doing? How are you doing? She's fighting, she's definitely fighting.